Final Fantasy 16 producer asks PC users to not go too far with mods. Final Fantasy 16 launches later today on PC, around 15 months after its debut on PlayStation 5. With every successful PC release, there's a solid chance users will create all sorts of mods, which is generally a great thing. However, a small portion of those mods may be distasteful, particularly to the game's creators. Speaking to PC Gamer, Final Fantasy 16 producer Naoki Yoshida asked users to avoid making or installing mods that are offensive or inappropriate. If we said it'd be great if someone made says, it might come across as a request, so I'll avoid mentioning any specifics here. The only thing I will say is that we definitely don't want to see anything offensive or inappropriate, so please don't make or install anything like that. It is unlikely that Yoshida-san's request will be fully welcomed by the entire user base, but perhaps it will help minimize the diffusion of any offensive mods. Looking back at the most recent Final Fantasy games released on PC, Final Fantasy VII Remake fostered a big modding community with 1,416 mods listed on Nexus that were downloaded 7.6 million times. By comparison, Final Fantasy XV has only 237 mods downloaded less than 500k times. Final Fantasy XVI sold even less than 15 so far, though, so we'd wager on the modding scene being less than explosive. The game has a PC demo that gives you a taste of the game and, most importantly, allows you to see how it would run on your rig. If your PC is not powerful enough to get a smooth experience in Final Fantasy XVI, NVIDIA's Force Now platform lets you play it via the cloud as long as you have a decent internet connection. NVIDIA users, including GFN subscribers, will be able to take advantage of technologies like DLSS 3, GLA, and Reflex, 